that you can actually get over a cold. You can't get over dementia. The fact of the matter is it's a permanent change in your brain. There's no getting over it. I saw that debate. I didn't think he sounded that hoarse. Uh, I think that's ridiculous. And look, the American people see right through it. And that, that's why the polling uh, looks the way it does now. That's why the Democrats are in free fall. Welcome back to American Agenda. Well, you just heard our next guest, Maryland Congressman and co-chair of the GOP Doctors Caucus, Andy Harris. Now, he says the public knows that the White House is not telling the truth about President Joe Biden's mental condition. Congressman, thanks so much for joining us. And I am not a doctor, and uh, I know that, of course, you are. But at the same time, I think it's interesting that the left-wing media, at least up until recently, and of course the White House themselves, seems to think that Americans are stupid and are not being able to see what has been going on in front of our very eyes for quite some time. What do you think about more the cover-up angle of this? Well, look, we saw the same thing with the problem with inflation. Uh, we saw the sec uh, Treasury Secretary claim uh, you don't see inflation, and every American's like, yeah, I'm going to the grocery store, I'm going to the gas station, I see inflation. You know, this gaslighting has been going on for three and a half years. Uh, this is just the, la the most recent, most obvious uh, incidence of it. But Americans do see right through it. They know that this president uh, probably can't serve, or most likely can't serve four more years, might not even be able to serve the last six months. Congressman, did you notice this over the last couple years? Uh, we've talked about it extensively here on Newsmax. Just about everybody has. Seemed obvious to us. What about you? And were there discussions internally in Washington? Mm -hmm. There, I mean, there had to have been. Uh, there certainly were. Really, they picked up right around the State of the Union because it, it looked so artificial. Uh, we, we knew that uh, there, there was some medication involved there, obviously. This was not the president that... Uh, that we were used to seeing because a lot of uh, my colleagues in the GOP Doctors Caucus, we'd seen the president, we'd seen the decline over the past year or two, and it just appears to be accelerating, uh, really culminating with that with that debate performance that uh, you don't have to be a doctor to see. You know, the average American has seen that. They've seen that in their family. They've seen that in their older relatives. It's sad to see, uh, but it's uh, I think it's hazardous when it's the president of the United States. Congressman, you did reference the fact that you don't think that President Biden can serve another four-year term, but you also said that you were concerned whether or not he could even finish this term. Tell us more about that. Look, that, that's right. The person we saw at that debate is not the person you want to be waking up in the middle of the night to make a decision uh, about uh, a potential interaction with an enemy. That's the bottom line. And, and you know, Americans, they, they don't elect advisors. They don't elect your, you know, your cabinet. They elect a president of the United States. They expect that president to be available with their full faculties, 365, 24-7. This president clearly is not. Congressman, what do you think about the fact that he was elected? I mean, he, he is the nominee to the party, and it's not like any of this was a secret, but Democrats went along with it. And it just appears to me that when their backs are up against the wall and it looks like they're going to lose, they're going to submerge subvert our democracy to get their way, which is a shot that they think somebody has a better shot to get to the White House. You see where I'm going with this? Uh, look, absolutely. The bottom line is, look, the president was right in his letter to Congress uh, that, that he wrote in the beginning of the week. Uh, he said, look, millions of people voted for me. That is the facts. And yet what they want to do is they want to do it either with a, you know, behind, in a smoke filled room somewhere or they want to do it with with a, a few hundred con uh, convention delegates instead of listening to the millions of people that they gaslighted. Uh, and that's the bottom line. Look, what you sow, you reap. The bottom line is they tried to fool the American people. They kept their fingers crossed that this president could uh, maintain that public appearance of, uh, of, of, of neurologic norm normalcy until the election. And they got caught with their hand in the cookie jar. Yep, that's exactly what it seems like. Okay, Congressman Andy Harris, sir, thanks for coming on. Stop back soon. Thank you.